police have confirmed one person was killed in the accident just east of Kingston. And Kingston General Hospital says it is treating between 15 and 20 people for injuries. Weather conditions were poor at the time of the accident with heavy snow falling. Now stranded passengers are being taken to warming centers in Kingston and a stretch of Highway 401's westbound lanes have been closed. Now, Constable Curtis Dick is with the Frontenac OPP detachment, and that's where we have reached him. So, Constable, we're just learning about this terrible news that someone has died as a result of that pileup. At this stage, what can you tell us about that situation? Yeah, so thank you, Natasha. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can. Okay, great. Yeah, so I am traveling, so bear with me here. Um, so, yeah, about 2.30 today, we did receive a, a call of a collision on Highway 401 near Highway 15 in Kingston. And it turned into a multi-vehicle collision given the, the poor road conditions. Uh, as you were mentioning, the, the snow and the freezing rain, etc. And uh, so that did uh, turn into a fatal or one person has been confirmed killed at the scene. And so now we're just trying to work through the scene to uh, keep it safe for people and make sure that uh, the investigation is, is completed in a timely manner. Constable, do you know anything about this individual? Are you able to share any information at this point? No, I don't know any details of the deceased person, and uh, pending next of kin, we will withhold that information until we've confirmed the family's aware of the death. Okay, and as I'm seeing from your latest uh, information that the police has put out, 30 to 40 passengers and vehicles and tractor trailers were involved um, in, in this accident, in this pileup. So how, how many people have suffered injuries as a result of this? Yeah, I can't give you an exact number on that. We do know that uh, multiple people, well, I do know that multiple people have been taken to the local hospital with a uh, variety of injuries, and that's, that's all I know right now. Okay, and how, if there's a major pileup, how are you getting them to the hospitals? Yeah, so uh, the uh, Frontenac paramedics have, uh, have dealt with the people at the scene, so that was a process of uh, working that through with the police, fire, and ambulance, so it was a great partnership that way. And uh, so now it's a matter of getting the, the motors that are still stranded within the area off the highway by uh, city buses into those uh, that warming center you were talking about earlier. And how many people exactly, do you have a sense more or less uh, that have to go to these warming centers? Yeah, I don't have a number on that as of right now. I know there's been at least uh, two, if not three, Kingston City buses making the shuttle. And so, uh, you know, for those buses, they can hold anywhere from, I believe, 30 to 40 people. And so that'll put you in a rough context as to how many people have been moved. Okay. And so do those folks just leave their cars on the highway? For those of us who haven't experienced something like this, what happens? You just leave your cars there and you have to collect them later? Yeah. So basically what will happen is that as we remove the vehicles, uh, the OVP will make a uh, contact list or a tow list. And uh, where the vehicle goes, we will uh, get the name and the vehicle um, uh, indicators from it or the make model year and then connect the person with the vehicle so we're asking motorists who are in that scenario where their vehicle was left in the on the at the scene to contact Frontenac OPP tomorrow Monday December 2nd and we will let you know where the uh, where the vehicle was towed and your colleagues who are at the scene who are dealing with these individuals who now have to be moved away from the highway are, are they sharing any stories are they telling you anything about the sense of fear or the sense of relief people are feeling? No, I, I don't have any information on that. We're just uh, we're working the best we can with, uh, it's really a great combined effort between Kingston City Police, the local Red Cross, uh, paramedics, fire and police, the Ministry of Transportation, etc. And so it is a process and we're, we're really thankful that the public is working with us on this. And uh, for the motorists who are there, um, yeah, they're working with us and we appreciate that very much. Well, let's talk about those motorists. Any advice for folks who are thinking about heading out on the road right now? Well, with the, with the weather forecast, we would prefer, and uh, with the OVP, obviously, we're concerned about safety, and we want people to be safe. So if you don't have to travel tonight, please don't. Uh, just stay in, stay where you are, stay at that safe location, and make arrangements for tomorrow. Okay, and one final question, sir. I don't know if you'll have the answer to this, but do you know when the 401 lane that's currently closed off as a result of the pileup, when that's going to open up again? No, I don't. There's uh, two factors to consider there. Number one is the investigation in relation to the uh, to the fatal part of it, and then just the sheer volume of vehicles 
uh, trying to get those removed and uh, coordinating uh, snow removal, etc. So it's going to be a for a period of time. I can't give you an exact time frame, though. Okay, we really do appreciate your time. We know it's early on in this whole process. So thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Natasha. Have a great night. You too. Constable Curtis Stick is from the Frontenac OPP detachment near Kingston, Ontario. The weather has also caused thousands to lose power in southern and central Ontario. The Weather Network's Mark Robinson is tracking the storm for us, and he joins us now from Waterdown near Hamilton. So, Mark, what are the conditions like where you are right now? Well, actually, right now, Natasha, we've just got this light drizzle happening, but you can see behind me the power is out, and the one thing that I'm, I'm actually quite happy about is that people are treating this, this is actually a, a traffic light, they're treating it as a four-way stop. I have seen one crash a little further to the west, uh, if someone wasn't paying attention. This is the situation that's sort of ongoing throughout Waterdown and other areas in and around southern Ontario. Given the amount of ice that has fallen and accreted on the power lines and tree branches, uh, we expect uh, quite a bit of power outages and they're continuing even, with, uh, even as the storm begins to move to the east. And you've been out on those roads all day, Mark. Give us a sense of what you've been seeing. You know what, when I started off in Guelph this morning, uh, I had a bit of a scary moment where the wind actually hit the car and the roads were not treated yet and the car slid sideways into the lane beside me. And I can tell you that was a very terrifying moment just to sort of say, I had absolutely no control. And that's sort of where it began. As I got down to the 401, there was a jackknife tractor trailer. Uh, and then the ice started to accrete and it's just been worse and worse all day long. I think this storm has somewhat overachieved in terms of the amount of ice that it's brought to this area. And of course, now we're talking about snow in Kingston. And this, is, uh, this has been a very dangerous and unfortunately deadly storm. Okay. The Weather Network's Mark Robinson in Hamilton. Thank you, Mark. No, I'm sure. Severe winter weather is also bearing down on the Atlantic provinces. Environment Canada has issued special weather statements for almost the entire region, warning of snow, ice pellets, freezing rain, and rain over the next three days. Now, these statements cover all of Nova Scotia and PEI and most of New Brunswick and Newfoundland. 